I won't go through all the lessons. Might as well get this show on the road. How you doing anyway, brother JJ? Let me know if you're down for some uh, play Carl. I actually wanted to play Carl. He's the puppet dude, right? This Hibiki dude looks okay. Asriel was Asriel was the character who I tried in in tag when I played tag. Oh no, I wanted to play his brother, not Carl. Let me know if hey, hello pin zero. Yeah, Asriel is who I played when I played tag because I was like, well, who's this dude? He looks cool. He's definitely an old James character. Is Asriel. Horizontal gauge, okay, so we're literally quite at the basics here. Let me know what it's like in terms of volume and stuff. <sighs> Ragnar fake, okay, fake soul. Yeah, Azrael's super cool. Lesson cleared? I didn't do anything. <laughs> That's how sick I am. Lesson cleared. Ragnar's a cool main character though. But yeah, I played a little bit of... of and I played Jubei as well actually in that, um, in that game. He seemed pretty cool. Yeah, good lesson. How you doing, Pin Zero? That's where literally just moving. What? 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 That's how you know I haven't played Mortal Kombat in ages. My first option wasn't to jump. Wait, FN2? No, I don't want the sample. Gosh darn it, how do I just... I don't need a sample of how to walk. Gosh darn it. <laughs> <laughs> Left trigger, end lesson. Excellent. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Dashing and backstepping. Okay, maybe we didn't need to start with these ones. Nice. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's exactly the logic. I'm like, well, if I'm gonna do the tutorial, I might as well do the whole thing. Super jump. I mean, this game looks really beautiful, doesn't it? Hey, hello, Peter. How you doing, man? Yeah, Hibiki, Hibiki looked like a character that I play. This game was randomly on, on. I mean, anime games obviously are notorious for never going on sale, but it was actually on sale. Um, not too long ago, so that's why I bought it. Hey, Piper, bless you, brother. You didn't have to do that. Aim for again. Oh, for those of you that care, I don't know if anybody's ever seen it, but the Astartes TV, sh the Astartes web series has now been officially bought by Games Workshop, so... I'll try to punch <laughs> The noise. He's like, quit it. Quit it. Yeah, it's funny, if you look at my Steam, I'll show you afterwards, I've played them all for about an hour, so I'm guessing what I've done is gone into practice mode for each one, and then I never play it ever again. Ragnar, the blood edge. If I was good at, at anime games, I know who I would play, but I think I just want to play somebody easy, and just learn. Try blocking the attacks. Ha! Yeah, basically. More! Do you remember when I did the, um... Do you remember when I did the, um... Uniel tutorial, how long I was doing that for? 
And then it was like, try blocking this Okazemi uh, overhead uh, upside down mix. And then I was stuck at it for like four days. Attack me. Oh, you bitch. He's getting low. Oh, you, this is guy's taking a piss at me. I'm gonna throw my controller out the window. I'm getting schmicked by the beginner tutorial. I'm gonna throw my controller out the window. How are you supposed I blocked that, bro, I'm pressing back! Oh, I'm so sick. <laughs> I press back, I'm getting too hot now, I'm getting hot and bothered, I need to take on it. By the way, Jordan, this will be coming its way to you at some point soon. And for those that you want to buy it, just do exclamation mark merch, I think it is. Yeah, every case, it, that was a long time ago. Have we made a difference? Yeah, you have, you bitch. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. The AO just decides what it wants to do. He did not like that tech. Look at him. He's like, I can't believe you teched up after my sweep. A-ボタン、B-ボタン、C-ボタンのレバー前プラスボタン入力で前方に移動してたのは B-ボタン、そういうことだ。You can't recover with D, yeah?次は必殺技ってのは、例えば、スペシャル attack。Watch me fail at this man. The Tuspa, you mean, um... Gun the flame! <laughs> yeah, what you mean like the Omega projectiles are just gone forever? Edgy so, yeah, he is edgy so, that's exactly what he is. I wonder, I wonder how many people get to Dragon Punch and just quit. They're just like, nope. Love you. <laughs> yeah, but he, come on, man. Ragnar's way edgier than Sol. Look at him. I didn't see what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> ah, also come out. Oh, did you see how sick that combo was? Dude, the my execution is so clean. <laughs> also, combos are the death of the fighting game industry. That's the one. That's one thing that you will never tell me is a good idea. <laughs> that's one thing you'll never be able to sell me is worth anything in a fighting game. <laughs> <laughs> I 
it's telling me about it What's that combo is a fine, maybe single target. No, I know, but when you do that, that wasn't a single target combo. That was that was like 20 minutes of combo. That's that combo that I did by mashing triangle is way more execution heavy than anything I could actually do. <laughs> so, Oh, I know they're suboptimal, but I just don't. I just don't see the point. What are they supposed to teach you? That's all right. You do what you have to do, my love. It's like doing a driving test, or it's like learning how to drive a car, and the cars are driving for you. It's a party game feature. Yeah, I just don't know. I just don't. I just don't. How to view the screen? Wait, I did beginner, right? That's no one intermediate. No, that's not easy. I mean, like, steering. It does the steering for you. I'm not having fun like they never want to... Yeah, but that means they're never going to play anyway, so why play it with them? How many people here... Right, let me pause it. How many people here... What did I do? Oh, I skipped the tutorial. Gosh darn it. Oh, I tried to pause it. I'm never going to get a draw. Um, how many people here have made somebody who've never... Uh, how, how many people in my chat right now has made somebody not want to play a fighting game ever again? Those people will never... I have. Those people will never ever play fighting games. We shouldn't cater to them. I'm being ruthless now that I'm back. Hey, hello, Callum. Yeah, I know. Charles. Charles can eat seven bags of, of something. Yeah, so, you know... If they want to mash, that's fine, but... <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, brother Colomius? Overdrive. The hidden power. Okay. リストションドライブはどのくらい協力かって誠そのはい。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> First time, yeah. Gotta start right. No boys. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, look, don't get me wrong, right? I'm not against putting in mechanics. I mean, look at Mortal Kombat 11. That is beginner fighting game mechanic, the game, isn't it? So, obviously, it sells and become it can become popular. But I just think stuff like... There's no reason to put stuff like auto combos in there. It's like in Tekken where you can do the easy, easy uh, input, like God Fists and stuff. Why? <laughs> for who? <laughs> the, the person that's going to buy your game and play for eight minutes? I guess that's the that's the balance that developers are trying to find at the moment. Right? How do you make a game approachable while at the same time not making it just an absolute mess? But then Guilty Gear doesn't. Strive doesn't have auto combos, as far as I'm aware. I could be wrong though. I haven't seen anybody do it. So much is generated by the overall board on the outside of the overall icon. As well as number inside. Here. Oh, what, when you crush somebody who knows how to play? Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. 
Oh yeah, and I completely understand the logic behind it in the sense from a, from like a marketing perspective, of course. Like Dragon Ball, like people, they know people love Dragon Ball. Which everybody loves Dragon Ball. I'm doing comments and say, yeah, I know, I know. Oh, trust me, I've already looked into it. It's like, this is a B and B. Six one two three B A C B. I'm just like, oh, all right, well. Get off me, Nave. I mean, uh, I mean, yeah. Obviously, it's um, it's. Relative, right? So the the like pretzel stuff, yeah, it's hard. But I mean, like, I'm talking about one of the things that I think makes a fighting game a fighting game is execution to an extent. I feel like that is one of the key things. It's like when you see somebody playing a shooting game, and you know, you can see how sick they are doing like snapshots, and you know that that player is better than a normal player because of how much time, you know, I feel like you should be rewarded for the amount of time you put into something. And I feel like with fighting games, having stuff, I'm, I'm not saying like, it needs to be 40 minute, like, madness combos. I just mean, I feel like, do if you do have execution as a reward, so you, the, the combos are put, the higher damaging combos and say the optimals are put behind the execution. I just feel like that is a necessary component of fighting games. So, yeah, it doesn't necessarily need to be like triple 720 upside down backflip AB AB one, you know, like that. And that sometimes like that is just like arbitrarily hard. But when it comes to stuff like Guilty Gear Strive, I wouldn't want them to make it any easier than it seems to be to do combos in that game. Again, it's it, obviously it's a beta and subject to change. Because you know, I just, yeah, I just always feel like execution in fighting games is important. That's another reason why I'm not, well, one of the many reasons why Mortal Kombat 11 just sort of lost, the, lost its way with me, was that I just didn't, it just, yeah, like Rev 2, yeah, th that's, that's probably the upper limits of what I would say I want combos to be, and even then, they're, they're really tough. So that's like the absolute pinnacle of how tough, I don't want them to be any harder than that, and even that is like, maybe, maybe... 20% too hard or 30% too hard. But, yeah, like Mortal Kombat 11, it's just like, oh, I hit a Garrus combo. 1-1, one, one, back forward 2, dash 4, back forward 2. I've just taken off 36%. It's just like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I'm with you completely, Root. I'm with you completely. It's just, it's just, it's just a weird... It's a weird balancing act that I don't think many fighting games, if any, have quite figured out yet. Like how to balance it. So I don't, when would you use overdrive though? Oh. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> Literally as I asked it. Hey, hello brother Andymus, how are you? Salty Jim Jam, indeed. The master of both salt, gyms and jams. How you doing, my man? Okay, so overdrives literally are just like a X factor. Let me put both how you doing, Andy? Exceed Excel and Active Flow. Okay. Yeah, not quite X Factor. Okay. Um, yeah, basically, supposedly this game, there's a rumor or a, a hope of a rumor that this game is eventually going to get rollback. So, that's why I'm playing it. Unique attribute. Ah, uh, okay. 
You can see it excels a powerful attack that can only be used while overdrive is activated. So this is this is an instant kill. No, it's not an instant kill. Snare was taken, moves get enhanced. There's a mod team. Noise! That's what I like to hear. Man, if they make if they make this game roll back, that'll be so sick. Easy super. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you, Pin. They need rollback. Oh, bro, if they played if they put rollback for Uniist, I would do a backflip IRL. Yeah, but I mean. That's that's always been Japan. I mean, look at Street Fighter Five. They had that mod that made the rollback, that made that gave the a little bit. Street Fighter Five had that mod that made the internet good, and the first thing that Capcom did was immediately remove it and not replace it. Waldstein is sick. That's who I was playing. Funnily enough, we have very similar tastes, I think, in characters, Julia. But if I was good, I'd play I'd play Byakuya because he's actually my favorite character in the game. Gorilla mains. Well, I'm an Angie main. He <laughs> I didn't realize how, how poorly Angie mains were regarded. Oh, I know, but yeah, you're completely right, Peppa. But it's just one of those things where you'd think that they would take that as incentive and see that it was like, everybody loves this, let's try and implement it. Instead, they just got rid of it and they were like, lol, bye. How do I do active? Uh, wait. How do I do active flow? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I'm already in it. Okay. But that's what Japanese developers are like, though. They it literally. I don't know if you saw that that roundtable they did recently. But literally the whole thing, Seijem did a funny video, it's like, watch Japanese developers avoid saying the word rollback for a whole hour. And I, <laughs> I was like, yeah, that sounds about right. So if I hit somebody with a easy super in overdrive mode, I beget, I come, I go, I stay in active flow. I'm gonna have to read this. Hey, hello, Nuna. How are you? Love you. Yeah, Harada. Yeah, I mean, they they sort of. It's obviously 3D fighting games are harder, but for 2D fighting games, that problem was fixed in 2013. Oh, good. Ah. Talking mess, I mean, I get a few. Yeah, oh yeah, it definitely bothers him. I mean, his whole motto is don't ask me for S. And then they asked him and he had to do it. <laughs> well, it's 3D, but I mean, you know what I mean. Oh, is she bad at cooking? I just, I lost the thread for a little minute. Hey, Margie, love you too. Love you both. Yeah, rollback is, rollback is a thing that's been, it's not, it's not a question that is unanswered. The internet, fighting game internet. It's a problem that's been fixed. 
A barrier block is it? Oh, oh, oh. oh, so this is like tension blocking in Gyoji. Yeah, especially with all the recent, like, bring back KA stuff. That's one thing that fighting game companies are just really bad at, is jumping on a trend. It's like, they finally get everybody on board, like, yeah, everybody wants to play this game. And then they're just like, oh, okay. And then nobody cares anymore. It's like, oh. <laughs> Most attacks, with the exception of A attacks from the ground, cannot be locked normally. Oops. Oh, I just got promoted. How am I supposed to do this? I have to wait for him to run at me and then jump. That was strange. NRS, yeah, NRS is sort of listen, I guess. Yeah, but they don't want their game to be deep. They want their game to be... Their game is the McDonald's of fighting games. Oh, so this is Gatling. This tutorial is really in-depth, though. Oh, I'm a prodigy. A, B, Z, D, my man's got the alphabet unlocked. Oh, I'm, I'm literally a prodigy. Yeah, the, the NRS just don't care. That's the difference. They just don't care about longevity. I mean, this is the first combo guard. This is the first fighting game they've had that's lasted longer than uh, almost two years with the intention of potentially making it go through. Like, they have, it's gone on for two years and they haven't announced the next one. It's the first time ever. Yeah, they just don't do very good with their community management either. That's exa You're exactly right, Andy. I've got so many ideas. If I was to work at NRS or like the U European equivalent of one of these fine game companies, you better believe there'd be so many awesome events and showcases and I literally that's what I spend all of my time thinking of. I still can't find a crush on Uh yeah, it's true. It's true, Tadu. Well, that's what we try and do with mashing on hip. That's why whenever a new character came out, we'd do a special. Because that's the whole point. You want to have, you know, obviously not me, but you have VGY just exploring these characters and showing people how to play them. That's 
you know. But that's the thing, Papa, is they have those people, but they just don't choose to, or they very rarely choose to encourage them or promote them. There's only a few, like Losty, every now and again, they'll retweet. But, you know, they, they don't, yeah, they don't, they don't really, and, and Callum, which is good, but Callum doesn't do, obviously Callum does like amazing law-based content, but Callum doesn't do like tutorials and stuff like that. I don't know, I just find it really rare for, for NRS to ever promote like a, like CGL, always put on these amazing events. I don't think I've ever seen it being retweeted by Ed Boon or, or you know, Tyler or any of those guys, or, or Stephanie. Free promotion. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, Pin. That's exactly what it is. Must be in some way. <laughs> Callum, please. <laughs> <laughs> you got me good. Uh, but yeah, I just feel like Arxis, Arxis are the only ones who, like, have gone out of their way to promote a grassroots event. Like, well, grassroots co content creators like Damascus and Tyrant. I mean, they busted their ass and they deserve everything they got, but it's amazing that they actually got acknowledged by the company and are now brand ambassadors. <laughs> Shame and neckbeard. <laughs> got me again. <laughs> it's a point, and your opponent has listen to oh, So these are, are these instant kills. So is that an execute, basically? Yeah, bless you, Andy. Thank you for popping in, my man. Yeah, that's the instant kill. So, so you can only do an instant kill on somebody when they're on less life. It's not, it's not a comeback mechanic. It's actually, all right, thank you. Okay, advanced. 